my truck and I'm on call and it's a Sunday morning. Uh, so this is what it's like to be a tech on call. Don't miss it. Uh, but, uh, you know, sometimes I got to do it still. So anyway, uh, we're on to, on our way to our first call. Looks like, uh, nothing's happening. They turn on thermostat, says it's cooling and it doesn't blow air. So we'll see what's going on with that. So here we go. Thermostat's calling for cool. I got no power down here. I checked the breaker. It's on, but you can see there's nothing lit up. So we got to see what's going on. So here we go. Filter looks clean. All right, so we got her opened up. So it looks like it's the zone board because I have no power to the zone board. And I can see here that the unit's on standby. So we'll go ahead and jump out the unit and make sure the unit works. And then we'll move on to see why the uh, control board is not working. So I'm jumping R to Y. Condenser came on. I can feel refrigerant. Uh, but the blower's not coming on, so maybe this one needs to call for G. Uh, let's go ahead and see if the fan works. I hope it does, because it's going to be a pain in the butt to get to. The blower does work, so it probably received, needs to call for Y and G simultaneously in order for it to cool. So, now we know the system's working fine, filter's clean. We probably have some, we got to find out why we're not getting power to this uh, zone board. So I'm checking voltage on the transformer to the zone board, and I do have 27 volts. So... Let's go check that zone board. The zone board might be dead. If that's the case, we're probably gonna have to bypass it just so they have air until we can come back and get a new board installed. And so I'm gonna make sure I have power going to the board. And this is the Honeywell HZ322 zone board. And then it looks like it's got a wireless uh, connection to a wireless thermostat. I wish they would put uh, fuses on these things. I'm checking uh, R to C on the input power for the board, and we do have voltage, so the board's fried. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically make it where uh, we're going to bypass the zoning, so it's basically going to cool the entire house all at once uh, from one thermostat. So we got to figure out which thermostat's what. I'm probably going to try to do the hallway one, unless that's the wireless one, so we got to see which one's wireless and which one's not, so at least one of them is wired. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to bypass this. So basically, we're going to take these wires, these wires, and wire nut them together. And so this is the thermostat in the hallway, and this is the equipment. So it's basically like wiring it like a normal system. Uh, thankfully, that these are the Honeywell dampers, so they're normally open. So they'll, you know, they're always going to be open. So we should be good to go. I got it all wired. So this is the T stat. This is the equipment. Um, I had to move the C from the transformer to the C of the unit because somebody decided to cut off all the extra wires so they're too short. When you have extra wires, just wrap them around. Don't cut them off because if you ever need to use them, now I can't. So anyway, we're gonna go check the thermostat, make sure it's powered up and then we'll go from there. All right, she's back up and running for now. Um, like I said, there's no zoning right now but at least they can cool the whole house instead of none of the house. And then I'll be back to change that out. So anyway, hopefully this helps, so thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.